Hey everybody, I'm Alex League Blue, and welcome to All Number Ones, Episode 11, the All Marvel Special, yet again. So, I did one of those All Marvel Specials before, and I thought I'd do another one. That was really fun. Um, so starting off with the first book, we have Knights of X, Number 1. This is a uh, variant cover edition, by the way. And so yeah, anyway, starting off with this first book, I liked it quite a bit. It's pretty interesting. It has a decent team of mutants assembled here for the heroes or the antag or the uh, protagonists at the very least. And uh, yeah, very interesting stuff so far. It ends pretty interestingly as well. But I would say uh, overall, it's basically like a fairy tale setting, and the mutants are trying to rescue other mutants in this uh, kind of different place. And they're trying to figure out a way to get back also to, uh, I think it's Krakoa, if I'm not mistaken, the place where they're usually at too. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff going on in here and a lot of moving parts and a bunch of different characters, but I liked it so far. I think it's pretty cool. I really thought it had a pretty interesting setup. And yeah, enjoyed it so far. So looking forward to more of this. If I find this issue too, I'll probably pick it up. Next up, we have X-Men, The Search for Cyclops, book one. So this one was pretty interesting because we have... Cyclops, something happened in, I don't know exactly which book or whatever, but something happened in the X-Men previously, and uh, Scott has lost his memory and doesn't remember that he's a mutant Cyclops, I don't think, or any kind of stuff like that, really. And so anyways, he's basically joined this ship crew of a big boat, and we have a bunch of uh, diff various different various characters on that, some of which don't care for him that much, and one of which does. But uh, basically, he starts to remember something's up, and somebody's trying to assassinate him while he's there, and I won't give away what happens, but yeah, that's pretty interesting as well. So yeah, I like this a lot. I always like Cyclops and the X-Men, so no surprise there, probably. But I thought this was an interesting take on him as a character, because you get him in a different setup and a different setting. It's always fun when you can do stuff like that, I think. But yeah, really cool issue, and I have more of this, so I'll be reading more of it soon, I'm sure. Next up, we have... Sword number one. First of all, I like this cover a lot. It's kind of unique looking, I think. But yeah, we have uh, the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. up front there. We have Lockheed in this, Beast. And I don't remember what that other character is called right there on the right. But yeah, this was really cool, though. I thought it was a pretty interesting start to this. It is basically S.W.O.R.D. Uh, as an organization dealing with in-house problems with uh, Gyrick being there from, the, from X-Men... Um, infamy, I guess. Henry, I was it Henry Gyrick, is that right? But you know, you know the character I'm talking about. If you're X-Men fan, yeah, he's there being a jerk as always, trying to cause problems for the for uh, for her. I forget what her name is off the top of my head, but I, I know I saw it a bunch of this. But but yeah, she's a pretty cool character though. She's trying to have to deal with that, but also she has to deal with a bunch of Men in Black type of stuff all the time because there's just all kinds of crazy alien invasions and threats and stuff going on. And her Beast and Lockheed and the rest of the team here have to deal with all of those, and yeah, I, I thought this was a very interesting book all the way around, and very enjoyable. It is the first sword book I've ever read also, I think, so yeah. I thought it was pretty cool, and I definitely would recommend it if you find it. And last but not least, Extreme X-Men number one. So first off, I think this team is very distinct from other X-Men teams. It's a really different lineup, which I enjoy. And I think their costumes is awesome. I really like the different colors of those and the way they look. And I think in general, this issue is pretty good and a good start to the series. It has a lot of uh, reading in it because it's setting up a lot of stuff and a little bit of backstory for some characters and stuff like that vaguely too. But they're basically captured by this organization and they're trying to fight their way out. And it's very interesting and I really liked it quite a lot. And I would definitely recommend it if you're an X-Men fan. And I also can't wait to read issue two, which I do have, and I have some of the other books in this run as well, but I don't know if I have three and four and ones like that yet, so I'll be definitely on the lookout for those. Thank you guys so much for watching this Marvel special of All Number Ones. I am Alex Blue. See you guys later.